hello guys welcome back to another video today um i'm just want to dress you up on the um william uh decision most of all um from last night's game against norwich um i also want to talk to you about how the var is gonna work in the near future um also dressed a bit more of that chelsea game as well but I'm going to start with how the VAR works well ha personally how I think it's going to work in the near future um, and put your opinions down below in the comments right I think the VAR is coming into the game I think it's going to be a lot harder to get a penalty um, I don't think they're gonna give them as softly as they have done in the near few, in the past. Um, one that stands out my, on the top of my head is uh, Brighton versus Liverpool, where Murray got pushed in the back. I believe it's Jordan Henderson. I might be wrong. All it was was a slight tap at the back, and the referee gave it. To me, I saw it when I got back home. Um, I'm not sure what gave it when I was actually there, but. It, with the penalty, I did think it was soft. Um, I think that's what the VAR is coming into as well. Um, so, with that bit, I'm going to talk to you about the Chelsea game last night, and especially that William decision, um, which people went all over social media saying that's 100% a penalty. And why I'm against you on that. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Right, so you've got the Montoya went down, Petro went down, I believe Montoya went down twice actually. Um, then you've got the William, which was the big call. Um, now, when I played football um, when I was a bit younger, I never dived, I didn't see the point in it. You're, you're, get, picking up, you're getting a risk of getting a card. Um, now, if you're diving, um, another thing I'm going to go address on just now is if you're, let's say, I don't know, Arsenal player dived, Arsenal think you go, oh yeah, it's definitely a penalty, but let's say Arsenal plan, let's say, I don't know, Tottenham, I know where your rivals, just the team I can pick up my head, let's say a Tottenham player dived. I said we go that way the penalty that is a dive. So that's why I think the VAR is creeping in slowly to the game. Um I do think it's gonna be a lot harder to get penalties in the future. So football fans I think we need to start getting used to that. Uh the quicker the better. Um but now on to the Chelsea. Montoya went down twice softly. Um I think Petro went down yet again softly. I think now with the VAR in the game, I do think it's going to be harder, especially if you start going down softly and the VAR pick it up, which they should do, it's not going to make it that much easier for the ref to give you a penalty or the VAR to give you a penalty when it is one. Now, I'm, I knew from last night's game because I watched it that the commentators said the 100% the VAR did say it was a penalty. Now I know you won't argue with commentators, but I know because I couldn't make the Palace game, uh, Palace Brighton game at the MX uh, due to what went well. Is the commentators said there's no way they can make direct um, contact with the people in London with the VAR. So when they say it's 100% I'm like how can you work that one out but AO. Now I'll go address the William decision very quickly. Um, I just want to, I think what the ref did not give it, if you watch William's back leg he did start to bend it before he contacted the defender. Um, you've also got, if that was outside the box with William jump the leg. Um, You've also got, it made it look like William made connection with the defender, not the other way around. Um, 
and then you've also got he could um make the player put it under his legs and still make contact with the ball. He could chip the ball over his leg and had a shot when it came back down. You know, there's so many causes. I personally, when I first saw it, uh, I said to any any team it, when I see it back on Teddy, if it's not there on the day, um, I would give out a penalty with the VAR, with the Chelsea players going down as well. I believe that made it harder for the ref to give the William decision in Chelsea's favour. Um, but that's my opinion on it. Guys, I want to see your opinions. Comment below. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Guys, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and ciao for now.